guys, I'm John Setzler and welcome back to Man Cave Meals. Today I've got a video for you. I want to show you a new toy that I've bought. Uh, PK Grills has recently dropped this new portable PK Go charcoal grill onto the market and when I saw this thing earlier this year, saw pictures of it, I couldn't wait to get my hands on it because I already have the PK360 you know and it's a super solid cast aluminum charcoal grill. I think it's what I would call top of class in basic charcoal grills but now they've released the same cast aluminum concept here in a portable charcoal grill. Up until now I have been using a Weber uh, Go Anywhere as my portable charcoal solution but uh, this guy in terms of uh, what I like to call cool factor and uh, really right stuff factor. Uh, this is going to be the new portable grill that uh, I use here at the man cave or that I take with me if I want to take a grill somewhere. When you want to transport this grill it has latches on the left and right side that latch the dome lid closed and they just pop right open on both sides and allow you to open your dome lid. And inside the base you just set your charcoal grate in place and then on top of that this guy comes with a really heavy duty cast iron cooking grid and this guy's got plenty of cooking surface for a portable grill this guy measures 17 inches left to right and 12 inches front to back so you've got a good bit of space there on the lower front portion of the grill you have your air vents. You can open these guys up to let maximum airflow come through or you can close one down or close them down and control which side of the grill your airflow comes in and out of the bottom side. On the top side of the grill dome you've got dual controls for exhaust. You can control which side of the grill or both sides of the grill your airflow is going to come out of the grill so with that kind of control on the bottom and the top you can set up for easy low and slow cooking and direct your smoke and airflow to one side of the grill or the other or both and you have a very fine level of control here so doing a low and slow cook on this grill is going to be rather easy. PK has also gone the extra mile on this grill for those of us who like to pay attention and keep up with things they have put a port on the back side of the grill that you can use if you want to run thermometer wires electronic temperature probes into this grill to keep up with the grill temperature or the temperature of whatever meat you're cooking that's amazing I really like that feature on this grill and also just like your other PK grills the lid comes off very easily if you want to cook with no lid and just turn this into a hibachi and this brings in the next great thing about this grill when you get this with the flip kit option. When you buy this grill with the flip kit option you get a few extra goodies. The first thing you get is an extra base. So when you take the lid off of your PK Go you have a place to set that just like that and you get an additional charcoal grate that will fit right in here like this and then you get additional cast iron cooking grid you get a split grid where you can put half on one side and half on the other and here you have two fully functioning hibachi grills this is a really nice setup if you want to cook a lot of stuff on a portable grill if you're taking this on the road with you or taking it somewhere else you've effectively doubled your direct grilling space which will be nice on occasion but in my case I don't know how often I will do that but the thing I love mostly about my flip kit is this two-piece cast iron grate because I'm going to use that on the regular PK go if I ever want to do a, a low and slow cook or something where I can put most of my meat on this side and leave the other side open where I can manage charcoal where I can add charcoal during the cook or add an additional wood chunk if I need to. So in the standard configuration on the PK Go I am more likely 
to use this setup with the split grates than I am to use the full size grate because like I said this is going to be a setup where I, I could do a low and slow I could do a, a, a chuck roast over here I could do a, a, I probably can fit a Boston butt on there which is probably something I'm gonna try and even if it won't fit initially I can set up with both both grates and then uh, easily get into here to manage charcoal if needed during a longer cook on a grill like this. So that's going to wrap up my initial walk around demo of this grill. I'm super stoked with this. I bought this grill from Atlanta Grill Company and I paid $269 for the PK Go with the flip kit. Um, I'm not sure if the option is available yet without the flip kit, but it will be available. I'm not sure what the price tag on that is. I will look that up and I'll put that price here on the screen. So if any of you have this grill already, let me know what you think about it. If you're thinking about getting it, uh, let me know why you're thinking about it. And in the meantime, I'm going to get some cooks going on this grill. So follow along on the Atlanta Grill Company uh, Facebook page and YouTube channel. I'm probably going to get something going on this grill fairly quickly. I'd like to show some of the versatility you actually have with a portable grill this size. So until next time, this is John Setzler with Man Cave Meals.